the heart of remote northeastern province in Kenya, a long-awaited distribution of free mosquito nets is ongoing. 67-year-old Abdia Khalif is surely going to use it to protect herself and her six children. The distribution is done by the British NGO Mentor Initiative as a part of their malaria control program. Abdia says a net is a real necessity for her and her children. Abdia is a member of one of the many pastoralist communities in Kenya's remote northeastern province. Here, far away from urban areas, the people live a tough life, being continuously on the move, looking out for water points and grazing areas for their cattle. This lifestyle calls for durable mosquito nets like the Demuria. Strong polyester nets manufactured by the European company Festerhard Fransen. A big challenge is how to get the nets to the remote pastoralist communities. The closest town can be 150 kilometers away. The few roads difficult to access and often there is no road at all. Fixing a puncture on the way is only a small inconvenience, just as getting stuck because of other frequent users of the same road. Also, the region is insecure because of roaming bandits in the areas. The urgency of reaching the pastoralist communities is growing with the onset of the rainy season. During that period, the prevalence of malaria is much higher than in the dry season. If nothing happens, many under five children risk contracting a fatal malaria. This pastoralist group has arrived on a site where they suspect water to be near. Some of these families travel for weeks before they settle down, barely surviving on small portions of milk and food. Menta Initiative wants to distribute over 13,000 Demuria nets to these communities. The tracing was done by employing local Somali staff and 250 community workers. We have done identification before, going to the field, uh, being guided by local population to find the settlement, which again are close to the water point normally. For the teams comes the task to see where the people went since the identification was done some weeks ago. <laughs> They are using GPS coordinates taken during the previous visit. On the way, they confirm the whereabouts of the nomads with local people. A few hours later, a nomad village appears. There's no sheep, eh? Oh, here. Yeah. Once gathered, the community gets a briefing. Malaria <laughs> You know, she, she's saying that uh, malaria is being transmitted by female anopolis, infected female anopolis mosquito. The other team members unpack the demuria nets for distribution. <laughs> but the distribution also confronts the team with other issues than malaria, like sick people or cattle that died for some reason or the 10-year-old Naha Abdi, who has been married off in return for camels. As every time we go to, uh, to, the, to the communities, we just find so many challenges. And this is one of the challenges that very young girls are being married off to, to husband, and they go off, and they, when they, they, they move with the animals, they just go. It? So what do we do? We just report to the area chief, and the area chief will take an action. Another dilemma might occur among users of the nets. Since basic goods like fabrics are rare, parents may decide to sacrifice nets for other purposes, like clothes. I can promise you it may not happen, but with the adequate knowledge that we provided, we are not hoping for that to happen. Mentor Initiative therefore has a follow-up campaign in place. We will validate coming back to the field after some months, after six months, and effectively and objectively see what they have done with the nets. Then from that we learn and eventually we will adapt the product or we will give some recommendation on how we could uh, make the product better if needed for the population uh, to use it.
the distribution is part of a four-year-long anti-malaria campaign. The communities, meanwhile, continue their journey, and with less burden of malaria, it might be a bit more comfortable.